Today we'll show you how to make a battery holder for AA batteries. I have a whole bunch of AA batteries that I want to put them together and uh, I want to put them in series. we got nine of these and it's gonna have to look something like this. So I need something long and round to hold all of the batteries together. I went to a local hardware store and found this half inch PVC pipe. The inside diameter is just a little bit bigger than the battery. So there's a little bit of play. I can probably insert a piece of cardboard paper or something in the middle to make it tighter. That should be fine. But then I went to the garden area and found this piece of irrigation pipe. And it fits the battery just perfectly. There's still a little bit of play, but uh, it's a lot better than the other half inch PVC pipe. So this pipe is a pipe I'm going to use for this project. So my plan is to insert the battery inside the pipe like so. And then uh, I'm going to have to use some kind of spring mechanism to press all of the batteries together in series. So I just went and drilled a round piece of wood and this is the core I got from the drill and this will fit perfectly inside the pipe. So I will use this to plug on one end. The whole saw blade, the size is three quarter inch and next I'm going to use a screw a spring and a washer to create a spring mechanism. So this is gonna go on here like so. And then it's gonna go on here. Now I have a spring mechanism. And then on the other end I'm gonna have a nut to hold everything together so they don't fall out. Okay. And then this piece it's going to go on one end of the tube like that. I'm going to push it all the way in. So let's put this in here and I'm also going to use some epoxy glue to make sure that uh, it will be in place. Okay, here we go. It's a little bit tight but I think I, I can push in. There we go. If it's too hot, you can always use a heat gun to heat up the PVC. Now it should go in easily. Right, so I've let the glue dry overnight. And now it's pretty tight in there. You can see the, there's a good tension on the spring. All right, let me show you how this works. I drill some holes on the pipe. Now I've got a screw that goes through the hole to the other side and this screw is going to be retaining the battery on the other side. This side here is the negative end of the battery. This is the positive end. The spring on this side is going to keep everything in tension. On this retaining screw I grind it flat so that this part here is going to be in contact with the positive end of the battery instead of this it's going to be like this it's flat so it's going to have a good contact with the positive end of the battery so it's going to work like this so when I push through the holes here this part here is going to be right in the middle like that and the flat part right in the middle where it's in contact with this end of the battery so now let's put this to work. I've got nine batteries in here connected in series now. You can see through the hole the, the blue part of the battery. So that part there is the very top of each battery. They are connected this way. And now it's not in tension because I have to push this down a little bit so that all of the batteries is in tension. I'm going to use a long screw and try and push it in 
Yeah. And you can see the top part of the battery right there. Yeah. Each hole is at the top of the battery. So I can push it down and I can insert the screw in so that will retain the battery in place. Okay. Now I can pull the spring on this end okay, so that I can release the tension and now I can push the screw through like that all the way in and I'm going to spin it until it reach the flat end of the screw so that the flat end of the screw touches the top part of the top battery. So now we have nine batteries in series. Now let's check on the voltage of this whole pack here. 14.5 volts, 14.6 volts. Each battery is 1.62 volts. So nine batteries here in series produce 14.58. I made an XT60 with a round connector on one end. So now I can connect this here and then this to the other side and then I'm going to use my nuts to tighten the screw in place and here's what the battery pack looks like and the voltage at the connector 14.58 volts so for this configuration I have a 9S battery pack here but you can see I have many screw holes. So if I want an 8S, I just remove the top battery and then put the retaining screw through this hole here. And now I have an 8S. Okay. And if I want a 7S, so I just remove these two batteries here and put the screw through this hole right here. Now I have a 7S battery pack. You can see the metal part there. It's the top part of the bottom battery and the white part there is the plastic of the bottom of the top battery. Let's try and see if it works. I got my tonnage charger here and I've connected the wire of the battery to my tonnage connecting wire and let's check on the voltage now. We got 12.9 volts so let's plug it in there we go it's working tonnage charger powered by AA batteries so basically with this system I can use as many AA batteries as I want I just need to have a longer PVC pipe and I can go as, as far as 100 volt DC the only disadvantage to the system is that I cannot put these batteries in parallel so I cannot increase the discharge rate or the capacity of this battery pack. What I can do to increase the capacity is to make another pipe identical to this and connect all of the end terminal together but that's not a proper way of connect all of these batteries in parallel. Now it's time to have some fun.